you're all excited. You just cast the best cast of your life and you let the air out of your pressure pot and it hurts your ears. That's no fun. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you build a silencer for your resin pressure tank. My name's Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe and check out some of the other design and making videos that I have. Like this video about how I design, prototype, and resin cast a adapter for this old Letrojet air marker. Click below for a link to that video. I discovered that by wadding up a uh, rag over the exhaust port of my pressure tank, I could dramatically reduce the sound that the exhaust made when I let the air out of my tank. So I decided to build an exhaust silencer. I start with a beautiful nipple. 3 8 inch in diameter is just the perfect size. A 3 8 by half inch hex bushing adapter. A half inch by one and a quarter inch PVC bushing adapter, a one and a quarter inch PVC male adapter, and a one and a quarter inch PVC cap. This is gonna allow us to build a chamber in which to put some sound absorbing material. We're just gonna use a rag. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut three vertical slots into the cap, and I'm just taking this over to my slide vise and uh, milling out three Star Wars-like uh, slots for the air to escape when I do let the air out of the tank. Next, we're gonna remove the barcodes uh, on the product left by the big box retailer, and I do this with a little bit of lacquer thinner, and I'm wearing some gloves, so make sure you stay safe. Let's watch how all this goes together. I'm using a little bit of pipe dope on the threads uh, of the steel tubing to uh, seal everything together. I mean, it's an exhaust port. It's not super important that uh, it's airtight or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to have it stick together and not have any issues. I use a little bit of uh, PVC glue here. Um, before I do that, I put on some of that purple primer to get everything to uh, hook together and stay really nice and tight. Pretty simple build. Get some stuff from your local orange big box uh, retailer, put that together and then stuff something in there that's gonna absorb the sound of the air coming out of your pressure tank and you're gonna be a lot happier. You'll be able to let the air out of your tank almost instantly without damaging or hurting your ears. Here's another look real quick inside, basically the space that's available to stuff in some sort of sound absorbing material. Your ears will thank you. This is just another way to make your shop a little bit safer and your life a little bit easier. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. Click here to watch some of my other design videos. And if you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, send me a message. I'm always looking for great new music to feature in my videos.